My name is Moira Sweeney. I'm a documentary film and TV director and a photographer. I grew up in County Fermanagh in Northern Ireland and I'm the eldest of a large family. I think I knew by the time I was nine or ten that I wanted to do photography and I, my mother got me a camera for Christmas when I was ten, so that was my first camera. When I'm photographing, I'll always have two or three different lenses with me. I'd rather work with fixed lenses, but if I'm under a lot of pressure, I will um, work with a telephoto lens that has got the capacity to go from wide to telephoto. It's endless the number of ways you can enter a project. One example is a photographic series called Crown Baha, which is the Irish for tree life. I had been photographing trees in landscape for quite a while and it, I finally realised that what I wanted to do was capture the essence of tree life. You know, I was living in the Pyrenees in the in south of France at the time. I wanted to actually capture the feeling of stillness when snow had fallen on the branches and everything's muffled with snow. I wanted to try and capture that feeling in the image in the way it was composed the stillness of the image, the way the lines fell across each other. So that's a very kind of privileged and embedded way of creating a photograph. I always loved the classic documentary films from the early part of the 20th century, the black and white films of Humphreys and his ilk. They captured the rhythm and flow of work and actually turned labour into a beautiful rhythmical experience when you were viewing it. So the project that I'm making at the moment, it started off taking photographs on the docks of Dublin and it grew from the initial imagery into um, a, a, a film. And I literally just followed my instinct, what I enjoyed down on the docks, what, what struck me visually. I wanted to capture something of the rhythms. And one of the things I deliberately wanted to do was not construct a script, but go out and let the material reveal itself to me. I remember knowing that I really, what I really wanted was I wanted to capture the sense of the expanse of the docks, the wide open space and moving through that space. So I hung out of the front of a boat and pretended to be like a bird going through the water, well a low flying bird at that, and just lay looking forward and coming slowly in to port and letting the port become larger and larger and build up. And I thought that was the best way to show what a port, what it feels like when you enter a port. A good editor will allow themselves to love your project the way you love it, and they'll bring more to it. They'll bring so much more that you won't have seen because that's not your speciality. By and large, my preferred way, and I usually do it, is to view all of the rushes order them and to do a paper edit. We can do what we want, but we make sure we get that right first. In terms of music, ideas can come in any form or shape. Most recently I've used the music of a lovely musician, Sean McArlean, and I knew from the, the second I heard the music, I knew that it was absolutely perfect and would resonate. His music had all come from water. It was all inspired by water, traveling around Ireland, and. The film that I'd made was shot on the docks in Dublin and so there was just an immediate resonance. So I think just those little components, all of them very important creative elements, brought it to the level where it is a film that um, I'm very happy with and proud of now. When I get a television commission, I'm very clear about what it is that we need to tell the story. For Log Annam, which is an Irish series about place names, I did a shoot with Donal Lunny and Andy Irvine, who are two very famous musicians. They sing about this horse on the Curra, which Curra, the Curra is one of the most famous places for um, race, racing and race training, and it's a total horse area. The idea starts with, here's the song, here's the two musicians. How am I going to visualise that? We're going to the Curra. And that's when the work actually really begins. I knew what we needed. We needed wide shots, mid shots and close shots of the horses to create a sense of a race. 
We just had to create this sense of magic. There was a lot of setting up for that. If you were starting out today, I would say follow your passion, follow your instinct.